Welcome back to my channel for the people who have already subscribed my channel and for the people who have recently found my channel a hearty welcome to this channel. I am Yashwardhan, an electronic enthusiastic and electronic engineer who likes to work with the electronic circuits and explain about the different topics in electronics. In the previous video, I have explained about how you can find the circle conversion between two sequences with the help of the concentric circular method or the stack hammonds method. In this video, I will be explaining how you find the circle conversion between two sequences with the help of uh, matrix method and the tabular method. Here, the tabular method is very much useful because using that method, you can uh, easily find the answer and, and it is very useful to verify your answer in the examinations. So, let us begin. So, first let us see the question. The question says that find the circle conversion of the two sequences x1 of n which is 1, 2, 2, 1 and x2 of n which is 1, 2, 3, 4 using the matrix method and the tabular method. So, let us do this sum. So, for, for your convenience, I will write this is my solution. First of all, let us see the matrix method. Method, okay. First, in the matrix method, first of all, you take a 4 by 4 matrix and as x2 of n is n, so you should write first, uh, first you need to fill the first column like this. The second column, you need to just uh, push this 4 to upward and the other 3 comes down. That is, this will become like this. Next column, you put, uh, you keep this value to here and write the other values as it is. Again, you push this value, 4, 1. Now, again, if you once more, if you do the transpose, you will get again the first row, first column. You should stop there. This is my x2 of n matrix. Now, write the x1 of n matrix, which is 1, 2, 2, 1. And this is my x1 of n. Now, I will get the y of n, which is nothing but a, this is y of n. So, what is the y of n? Just multiply this row with this column, which is nothing but matrix multiplication. So, you have 1 plus 8 plus 6, uh, 1 plus 8 plus 6 plus 2. So, you have 1 plus 8, 9, 9 plus 6, 15, 15 plus 2, 17. That is my y of 0. Similarly, for y of 1, just multiply the second row with this, which is 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 8, sorry, 2, 4, 4 plus 8, 12. 12 plus 3, 15. So, you have the 15 value. Now, multiply the third row with this, which have 3, 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 4, 13. Similarly, last row with this, we get the y of 3, which is nothing but 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 4, 14, 14 plus 1, 15. So, finally, my y of n is nothing but 17, 15, 13 and another 15. This is one of the common method which everyone knows uh, by using the matrix method. You need to find, you can find the y of an output like this. But there is another method which is called the tabular method which only very few people has very idea. It is also very easy method and we can find the answer very easily. So let us show the, let us see the matrix method. Sorry, tabular method. Uh, for this method, just draw one line like this. So, as my take the x2 of n and write the values like this 1, 2, 3, and 4. Just like in matrix method, you need to again uh, transpose this and write them the next row. Again, transpose we get 4, 1, 2. And again, transpose we get 2, 3, 4, 1. Just uh, that means first of all, you write the values in this order. This is x2 of 0, x2 of 1, x2 of 3, 2 and x2 of 3. Next you need to write x2 of 3 followed by x2 of, x2 of 0, 1 and 2. Similarly in the next row. And you get the value like this. Now write the other x1 of n in this manner. The only difference between the matrix and tabular method is that in matrix method you are just multiplying both the matrices. Here you need to multiply this one, these values with each and every row. That is, you are doing the row matrix. So, if we are doing this, we get 1 plus 4 2's, which is 8. 8 plus uh, four, 3 2's are 6. 
plus another 2 which will give me 9, 15 and 17. Similarly, multiply this values with these which is nothing but 2 plus 2 plus a plus 3 which is nothing but uh, 15. Similarly, multiply this both we get 3 plus 2 into 2 4 plus 2 into 1 2 1 into 4 plus 4 which is nothing but 8 10 and this is 13. Similarly, multiply this row with this we get 1 into 4 4 plus 3, 3 into 2 6 plus 2 into 2 4 plus 1 into 1 1 which will give me the value of which is nothing but 9 which is nothing but 15. So from this also my y of n we get the value as 17, 15, this is another 13 and this is another 15. So that's it. So if you observe both the values as here but only thing in the tabular matrix you are finding the answer very quickly and in the matrix also you are finding the quickly. So if I now say what I, how effectively each method is by con uh, by con uh, the time taken to solve the answer in concentric method, concentric circular method is less. We we'll get little more time than the matrix method, and the fastest method is a tabular method. So you can use this tabular method in the examination. Once you get the answer by doing the exercise, just to verify whether your answer is correct, you can use the tabular method to check. And this method is also useful in the competitive examination like GATE. When you, we need to solve the, uh, um, solve, the, solve the question very fast. So in that ma manner also this is very useful. So now I hope friends you have gained a good understanding about how, you, how to perform the circular convolution using the matrix method, tabular method and the, in the previous video concentric circular method. If you have any doubt please feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I clarify your doubt. If you want me to do any video on any particular topic in electronics also, please uh, comment that down below. And also support this series so that I get the motivation to make more videos about the topics related to some of the important something electronics and communication engineering uh, topics. So thank you friends. If you like my explanation, please like this video, share it with your friends and do subscribe my channel. It helps, it helps the channel a lot. As it uh, as a YouTube recommends this to a large number of audience. Now, uh, thank you, friends. Thanks for watching, friends, and uh, stay tuned to this channel to see more such videos. Until then, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.